Chevy. Four, we're coming for you, Playboy. We are coming for you with this Challenger ACR. It's gonna be a wrap for you on the track. We're gonna turn, we're gonna do this number right here. We're coming for you. Yo, YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you for taking out some time to check out this video. First time checking it out, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to the channel. I'm trying to push this thing on up to the 400, not 400, 700 subscriber mark. So keep on supporting, keep on doing the thing and making it, helping me make this thing grow. Um, so let's get into the information we got today. So we do have some news, not particularly from Dodge, but from Car and Driver. They uh, released an article a couple days ago saying that Dodge is working on a uh, Challenger ACR, which this was something that was reported maybe a few months ago uh, that Dodge was gonna go this route with the Challenger as far as making a Challenger ACR to kind of replace the Viper, but it's been kind of been on hold due to the whole virus and everything that's been going on. But we got some new reports as far as more details as to what's gonna go into this car to make this car a track focused car. So we're gonna go through the article, talk about some of the things they, uh, they said is gonna make this thing be able to turn because you know a lot of y'all been saying this car can't turn they're going to make this thing turn i mean not particularly my car but they're going to make it turn so uh, let's go through the article talk about some of the points then talk about what it actually means uh for the challenger uh, model all right so a couple of things they did to talk about in the article uh one of the things is the aerodynamics of the car everyone knows how the challenger is it's not the most aerodynamic car because they wasn't going for aerodynamics they were going for a retro style look so a couple of things they said it would do for the um, aerodynamics on the car to give it you know more of a, a track presence to give it more downforce so a couple of things that they mentioned is probably a front splitter uh, similar to what you see on the bike race cr and also maybe from uh some of the uh dive planes here some of the uh the canards here to help with some of the front down force, which you would, would you see on the ACR Extreme. Uh, some other things that they mentioned in the article is coming to the rear here is the spoiler. We're used to seeing this car with this type of spoiler on it, but the article mentions having a spoiler probably come up to like here. So don't be surprised if this car comes out and you have like a taller spoiler, which will be similar to what the Viper has. And also the Chevy Z011 LE has that type of spoiler. And that's a pretty good uh, track car in itself. The next thing that makes the Viper um, ACR Extreme uh, a track monster is the fact it's lightweight. If you know these cars, you know these cars weigh a ton. Um, so what they're looking into doing is to, when this car is produced, if it's actually gonna happen, it's gonna outfit this car uh, with a lot of carbon fiber, which the Viper has. Uh, the goal they're saying is to make this car under 4,000 pounds, which is gonna be a very, very, very aggressive goal for this car. With this car already, 42, 4,500, I think it's closer, I would say 44, 4,400 pounds, and they're gonna get it under 4,000. So my thought on that is, don't look for it to be very, like extremely under 4,000. I'm thinking it's gonna be like 3,900 realistically, because that's a lot of weight to shave. So what they're gonna do is the carbon fiber, which they said they're gonna put into the construction of the car. Um, there's good and bad sides about using the carbon fiber on the car. The good side is, yes, you save weight, you make the car lighter, but depending on how much you take uh, carbon fiber you put into the car, you're going to raise the price of the car. So if they go completely crazy with the carbon fiber, this car can get very expensive very fast. We're talking, I would easily could see this car going over six digits if that's the case. They could do some slight carbon fiber, maybe a couple, maybe a couple body panels here and there, which would help reduce the weight, but not really, you know, but not drastically. So that's something that could play a factor. Along with um, the carbon fiber, this is my prediction as far as what else they would do to help save weight on this car. Um, one thing I would see happening with this car, this car will only be offered in a two-seater option. It will not have a back seat at all. There'll be no need for a back seat, especially if you're planning on buying this car to take it to the track. That They won't give you that option at all. Also, the style seats that come in the car now, as we know it, the big company bolstered up seats. I feel like those won't be in the car as well. They'll probably go with a lighter racing seat in the car that will be a balance, maybe a balance of comfort, but it'll be more driven to the actual uh, you know, making the car lighter. Another thing I can foresee as well, as far as the transmission options, um, which the transmission option, which 
would help make it lighter. Uh, from my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, manual transmissions are lighter than automatic. So they could go with a manual only option to make the car lighter and not even offer the automatic into the car. Just like the bike, but the bike only comes in the manual anyway. Another mention in the article is that the car would get big Brembo brakes. Now, that could mean a couple of things here. Uh, this could mean that it's just going to get the big Brembos that come in the Hellcats and the SRT. We're talking the six pistons up front, the four pistons in the back. That could be that. But if they're trying to take this car to the next level, they may be thinking something even bigger than that. They may go as far, I don't know, maybe eight piston Brembos or something on the car to give it, you know, more stopping power. Um, one thing with the Viper, it does come with carbon ceramic brakes, which I think that might be more, that could be something that could play a uh, factor on the uh, Challenger ACR if they do go that route is getting the uh, carbon ceramic brakes. Now, pricing on that would, of course, make the car more expensive. But if you got a track focused car out of this platform, you're probably going to need some some really special brakes to make that happen. So I could see that happen. Another thing that uh, the article mentioned is the mainly adjustable suspension system. Now, with a lot of SRTs and, and some of the scat packs and things like that, you do get the uh, uh, adjustable dampening system where you can make the shocks firmer or softer depending on what you're looking to do. Um, and with the Demon, they also came up with a custom suspension system to make the car able to, you know, hook and book out of the hole from a dig, you know, on drag racing. So this is something Dodge could do when it comes to a road racing vehicle. Um, manual adjustable suspension, to me, it, this sounds like this could be some sort of... Um, coilover suspension system we can go and adjust the ride height adjust the firmness or the softness by hand and not have it controlled by by the you know the the uconnect in the car so that would give you more adjustability as far as exactly how you want to set your car when going to different tracks and things of that nature also maybe another level to that what they make you do is also make uh the control arms adjustable as well so you can give so you can add camber take out camber just so you can you know give your car that better of an edge while on the track because having camber in the, in the wheels uh depending on the track you go will help out as far as gripping the corners and things like that so that could be the next level thing that could be added to the car also looks like they'll give us two options for engines the 392 engine and also the uh hellcat red eye engine both will be pretty good in a car that if they're going to get this thing under 4,000 pounds this car is going to be a monster so chevy Ford, we're coming for you, Playboy. We are coming for you with this Challenger ACR. It's going to be a wrap for you on the track. We're going to turn. We're going to do this number right here. We're coming for you. Now, kind of in summary of everything, now, this is all just speculation, but based on how Dodge, how they do with kind of the R&D and things of that nature, they are very, they don't spend a lot of money on R&D. They typically would take what they already have and remix a little bit to make something new. Um, with this ACR, it's going to be a little bit of the same. They're going to take some of the information they have into with the Viper ACR and, and try to put it into the Challenger. One last thing I want to mention as well. Don't, I don't foresee this car coming with those Pirelli P0s. I definitely see that they will come with a, like some sort of Nittos or something like that. Something that's going to be better for the track than the Pirellis. Uh, and this is kind of the basis of the thinking there. Like with the Demon, they had the special drag radios made by, I think it was Nitto. And then they came with the uh, Scat Pack 1320, which comes with some sort of drag radios as well. So there will be a special tire for this car to help out with the handling of it. So this is gonna wrap up this video. Um, hopefully um, you enjoyed this video and thanks for checking it, checking it out. Now I really do hope they make this car cause it will be a game changer when it comes to having a Challenger be able to get on a road course and turn. I know people that do it already, but given a car with as much power as these cars have and making it lighter, making it more agile, it's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. So hopefully you see this happen. Hopefully there's gonna be more information coming out on this car. As always, thank you for tuning in. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're first time checking me out. Let's catch you on the next one.